Hello friends, welcome back. Today we will be learning something very useful and very important. That is how to automatically send an email with an HTML table on Gmail using Google Sheets. As always, let's first see a demo. So this is my Google Sheet and this is my sample data. So when I say a table, like uh, if you have this kind of a data and you want to send it in an email on a daily basis, now no longer you have to do a copy paste. You could just use this functionality and the emails with the table would be sent automatically. So let's go ahead with the demo and now I click on this button, you can see the script is running. Now it has finished. If I go into my inbox, you see there is one email. If I just open it, you could see the subject is latest data and please find the latest data given below. And we have this entire table which was available on this sheet over here as a HTML table embedded within this email. So was it interesting? The beauty of this is like if there are any changes like tomorrow, if there is a new row of data, which has been inserted over here if i then click on the send mail go into my inbox and now if i check this latest data is also available over here so uh, the script is absolutely dynamic it is based on total number of rows and columns so whatever changes which would be made over here the same changes would be reflected in the table in the email body so i hope you found this demo interesting now let's get into the interesting part where we will actually see how to write the code for it to write the code you have to go to your sheet uh, click on extension and then app script once you do that uh, you'll come across this kind of an editor window by default the name of this function will be my function you could rename it with any function name of your choice i've given the name and send email with table and your is the place where you'll be actually writing the code the code is quite simple i will quickly explain you so these are the initial lines of code so at line number three where i've created the sheet variable now i'm referring to the sheet where my data is present in my case the data is present in this sample data so the syntax is spreadsheet app dot get active spreadsheet dot get sheet by name and then provide the name of the sheet which is sample data within double inverted quotes next is what i need to include within the body of the email if you would see my email it was like hi all please find the latest data given below so the same thing has been mentioned in this var body email. Hi all, this is the break line HTML tag. Uh, this should be present so that there is a new line. Next sentence comes into the new line. If you'd see in the email, please find the latest data that has come into a new line. That is because of this uh, break line character. So the body email, this is the body of the email. In the next two lines, that is line number seven and eight, we are fetching the total number of rows and columns in the sheet so that we know like we have to fetch the data until row number six and column number E. So for those things, uh, we have these variables, total rows and total columns. I'll show you like how we have used it in the actual code. And now moving forward, we have to create a variable to store the actual HTML table. Right now, uh, the body email contains only this text, but we, the intention is we need the entire HTML table. For that, the syntax goes like this. Okay, so I've created one variable where table is equal to, and this is the HTML for the table. You could see we have started the HTML body. We are like for the break line table and border is equal to one so this is the syntax for creating the actual table in the next line we are just creating one variable called call value and i'm initializing it to blank i'll tell you like why it is like this and now comes the most important part where you would be actually fetching the data from this sheet and then embedding the same into the rows and columns of the html table so the code for that goes like this okay so here we are using a for loop the first for loop is traversing throughout the rows so you could see i'm starting from row number one to the total number of rows total number of rows is stored in this variable which i have used it over here also there is another for loop within this for loop like this for loop at line number 15 which i'm highlighting now this for loop is traversing throughout the columns like from column a to whatever are the total number of columns so if you see column number one to total number of columns it will be traveling across all the columns at this point uh, the call val at line number 11 which was initialized to blank now if you see at line number 16 we are actually populating we are actually fetching these values uh, the values like whatever are the values from row number one to row number six in all these columns are being fetched at this line of code at line number 16 and now very important if you would see after the first for loop we have this syntax at line number 14 here we are 
like inserting a tr tag tr tag is for inserting a row into the html table so when this line of code is getting executed line number 14 a row is getting created into the html table and from line number 15 through line number 23 the columns are getting created so these are the rows like these are the rows one two three four and five these are the five rows and the first row if you see it is kind of an header so if you'll exactly see in the code at line number 17 i have inserted one condition if uh, it should not be i it should be row number so let me just change it yeah if row number is equal to equal to one which means i am at the first row then i am not inserting a td td is used for a column but instead i am using a th the difference is like if you see in this table the headers are appearing as bold this is because we are using a th tag for the row number one and for all the other rows we are using the td tag and finally once uh, the inner for loop is completed then we are again appending the table variable with the slash tr which means we are now closing the row so once all the data within a row is completed like once i reach over here country usa the row the row should end so because of which i am using this slash tr over here so at this point the entire html table is ready everything is stored within this table variable and now comes the point where we have to actually send the email so the code for that goes like this so i'm using this body email if you remember the body email at line number five we are just like this line please find the data given below i'm appending the body email variable with the table so this variable is the final variable which has the entire content of the email and the line over here line number 29 gmail app dot send mail here the first parameter is the email id second parameter is the subject third parameter keep it as blank and the fourth parameter is the actual html body which would be sent over an email so the code is ready and if everything is fine if i click on this run button you could see the execution has started it will just take a few seconds it has completed if i go back into my inbox just refresh it and here you go like the email has come and it has all the data like uh, it has this thing i have please find the data data given below subject is latest data which we had mentioned and the entire data is present in an html format so this is the code which is doing the task of sending the emails along with the html table uh, the code i'll show you it is available on the blog you could find it over here so you have to go to automationagile.com within google sheets select this option send html table and then your email and you will get the same code which has been presented over here so this was it uh, one last thing is remaining like uh, how to have this kind of a button it is very simple uh, you have to go to insert uh, drawing select any shape maybe this one click anywhere you have to do a right click edit text you could write any text of your choice and once that is done click on save and close so you see this button is available you could drag it anywhere and uh, then you have to assign this function name so just copy this function name once again come back select on these three dots assign a script and paste it over here and click on ok so now this click button is associated with this function so whenever this button is clicked this code will start running and it will send the emails along with the html table so that's it i hope you found this tutorial helpful if you like my videos i would request you to please subscribe to my channel so that you will be updated with the latest videos i would be uploading guys thanks for joining i'll see you soon